Hold Seth Clifford. Hey guys, it's <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ben out. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we just uh, we fought Blue and we went through a bit of Viridian Forest. We also uh, evolved uh, Caterpie into Metapod, uh, and we have arrived at Pewter City. In this part, we're gonna probably fight the gym. Yeah, that's supposed to teach you that the move Sing uh, makes Pokemon go to sleep. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon, huh? I'm on the phone. Scram. Who's this Team Rocket fellow? Also, what do you have to say? There aren't many. They're all like bug catchers. <laughs> Good old bug catchers. Uh, I'm actually gonna head down here because unfortunately I feel like I'm gonna need to do a bit of grinding. Uh, if we check out Bugaboom, he is 156 to level 9. He's going to take a while before he evolves. Bubba, how? Uh, wrong button. Bubba, however, is. 243 to level 13, so I, I think there is a bit of grinding to do, so grind away! Hey! Okay, so his stats are okay. I mean, I mean, I know Bubba is three levels above. He's doing okay. No, he's not. Look at that, look at that. He's three levels above, but he's got like double all the stats. Hey, he's level 10. I just looked it up. Apparently, he doesn't get the ultimate move that I was expecting in this game. He gets it in yellow, but it takes level 12 for him to get in this in this game. Anyway, here we go. So Bugaboom is now a Butterfree. Butterfree is pretty good, I'll say that. I mean, he's got some pretty nice stats for right now. I mean, look at that special stat. And his speed's pretty, pretty good too. I mean, sure his attack is in there, and Bulbasaur's still pretty there, but for level 10, that's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna try and level up Bulbasaur as well, because I'm gonna want Bulbasaur to be level 13. Okay, because I'm a little bit crazy, I'm not going to evolve, or I'm not gonna level up Bulbasaur just yet. I want to show you how difficult this gym is without really any of these awesome moves that you can uh, pretty much. So here's the gym. Uh, also in Pewter City we have the museum. It's not really anything you can do in there. So, you no, know, don't really need to. And we've got the Pokemon. I believe you can go you can buy potions from this one. Uh, what else does he sell? He sells es escape ropes. Escape ropes are basically, if you're in a cave, then you can use an escape rope, and it will send you right outside to, n to the nearest, to the entrance of the cave. Uh, which is great, because there's a cave coming up. And you've also got the Awakening, which uh, wakes you up if you're asleep. Fortunately, there's or oh, there could be Pokemon that you sing later, but generally, there's not really any right now, so don't worry. Uh, so anyway, let's go into the gym. In the gym, we have two trainers. This guy and the gym leader. Uh, stop right there, kid. You're still light years away from facing Brock, even though light years is distance not time to get to get it right uh, so this is junior trainer Mana. Mana? wow junior trainer male uh, he has a level 11 diglet diglet is ground type so thankfully your tackle will still work fine but the problem is he is still kind of tough also is it kind of bad that despite the fact that this is a rock type gym this trainer only has two ground type pokemon But you can see, like, how powerful he is, and we can't really do much about it. Oh, goodness. I'm switching out. I'm switching out. I'm swapping. But as you can see, yeah, it's kind of difficult. I mean, this is just one guy. And he does quite a bit of damage as well. The breeze tackle, maybe. Yeah, we got Uh... By the way, I haven't talked about Diglett. Diglett has some pretty good, it's a pretty good moveset, and his speed is really good. His HP is just low, but if you can, there you go. So as you can tell, this is why I needed level 13, because Vine Whip. Uh, Sandshrew. 
I'm actually going to switch out to Bugaboom just right now because I want the experience on Bugaboom. I'm actually going to try and get Bugaboom to level up to level 12. Uh, oh gosh. Uh, Sandshrew is also pretty good. His attack and defense is pretty high, and when he evolves, his base stats are actually really good. Uh, Bind Whip. Use it. It's good against ground. And the next, and by the way, the gym leader Brock. His Pokemon, while they are rock type, they're also ground type, both of them. So, I don't think there is a pure rock type in this game. No, I don't think there is. Holy snap sand attack! Hey, uh, hopefully this will give a bit of experience. Uh, the only problem with Sandshrew, by the way, is that he doesn't really learn that many good moves through leveling. I mean, he's got a good move set when you use TMs, but it's a bit weak when you level. Also, you, that's what I said. <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna exit because we're gonna lose. Also, Sandshrew is a blue exclusive. There you go. So you can only get him in this game. Uh, and by this game, I mean blue. You probably get him in yellow. Uh, I'm not really referring to yellow because yellow does change up a lot of things. Red and blue generally, you go through the exact same things. It's just the only things that are different are just the wild Pokemon. They both pretty much have the exact same like structure and stuff. Anyway. <sighs> so how far is Bugaboom away from a level up? 109 and then I gotta get another level after that. Jesus will take a while. Either that, or maybe we can just fight the gym leader. Maybe. Maybe. I don't. I. I don't trust myself because Bugaboom's only level 10. He's not gonna be able to help at all. And I would at least like him to get up to level 11 so that he, or at least a bit into level 11, so that he can evolve. Uh, he can level up to level 12, like midway during the battle learn his move, and then, like, kick some butt. So, yeah. I guess that'll be how it is. Dang it, we can't do more grinding. You know what I greatly appreciate about Fire Red and Leaf Green? I think they add another trainer in the gym. And I think Yellow does as well. Yellow adds another trainer in that gym, and good on them, because besides the two encounters with Blue, there, well, there are six trainers you can fight before the gym, and every other po wild Pokemon is, like, below level 5. There is no s strong wild Pokemon to fight. It's it's ridiculously difficult to do this. I mean, if you train only Bulbasaur, we'll get Vine Whip, sure, he's alright. But the only other Pokemon that can really do something against a Rock-type gym is Butterfree. And in Yellow, while it is, you know, improved, because you can get this move at level 10, it's still a bit annoying that there's only one Pokemon. I mean, now the Nidorans and Weedle, they can't help. Pidgey won't help. Rattata is not really that good. Anyway. Like, seriously, I've, I haven't learned any moves. At all, and I'm not going to learn one this level either. Okay, so how far until the next level up? 375. Well, I'm clearly not going to get it in the battle. Okay, so I think I've gotten to the point where, basically, Butterfree is, is at that right moment. I know someone who's really good at this game is going to tell me off for being like, Oh my goodness, you didn't get Nidoran! Jeez. But, perfectly honest, I don't like Nidoran that much. It's really bland, Nidoran. But yeah. Um, by the way, anyone in the future, X and Y has not come out. Um, I guess we'll fight Brock. I'm Brock, I'm Pewter's gym leader. I believe in rock-hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then, show me your best. And hold 
and snap different battle music. But Brock, oh gosh, Brock. Um, so firstly, he's got a Geodude. Now, Geodude... This Geodude is level 12. He knows Tackle and Defense Curl. So thankfully, he doesn't know really that many strong moves. Defense Curl is basically hard. Basically, I said. I can't do anything, though, because he's Rock-type, so... Normal-type attacks will not do much. However, Grass-type? Sure! Grass-type is really good. Water is also super effective against Rock, I believe, but Grass is super effective against Ground. Thankfully, both of his Pokémon are Rock-Ground. Um, Geodude has some really good attack and defense, and when he's fully evolved, he's so good. Problem is, his special stat is a little bit low, but that's okay. Uh, his attacks don't really involve that much. And the problem is, he requires a trait to fully involve. Uh, this is something I'm going to note. Uh, there are some Pokémon that have... This is why. Which means Bugaboom levels up, and this is what I wanted. Confusion. I, I wanted confusion. Now, yeah, the problem with uh, evolutions through leveling, uh, through trade, is that you need another friend with the game. And right now, emulator is not the best way to do that. And also, a, a problem with this is that, um, is that, yeah, like, what if you don't have a friend? Well, I'm gonna try and play this in the, in the attempts that you, like, under the terms that I don't have a friend to trade with. with, to trade with. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna try and stick away from those Pokemon like Geodude, uh, catching them, because while they are very good, you can't get the best form, and the second form, well, this is pretty good, it doesn't last as long as you think. Anyway, this is Onyx, I'm gonna use Confusion. This Onyx knows Tackle, Screech, Bide, and Bind. Screech makes your defense fall so much greater. Confusion, it's really good though. Not only has it got the stab, but it's pretty strong anyway. It's not, it's not super effective though, but it's pretty good. Now, um, uh, Onyx has the second highest defense of any Pokemon in this game. He's behind Cloyster, um, in terms of that. And his speed is really good. He doesn't evolve in this game though. He evolves in the next, in the next generation, which makes him really good. Uh, his HP is also a little bit low, but thankfully he's got the defense to back that up. And again, defense. Okay, here's Bide. Uh, I'm probably gonna kill him before he gets to use it. Okay, well basically, he knows Bind. Bind basically locks you from attacking for several turns as he uses Bind over and over again. Bide... Uh, wait, Bind is really annoying. Thankfully, it's much weaker in later games. Uh, Bide, on the other hand, you store power for two turns and then you do a really powerful attack. Uh, on the third turn, and it's really strong. Um, which is why this guy's kind of tricky. Thankfully, Confusion's really good. Uh, now, he's telling you that you can use Flash outside of battle, and then he also gives you TM34. TM34 is Bide, so you can teach Bide to one of your Pokemon. A TM is a one-time user item, by the way. A HM can be used as many times as you want, and HMs are required to beat the game. Um... As he said, you can use Flash now. Flash is one of the HM moves. We haven't gotten Flash yet. We get it a little bit later. But... I'm surprised actually how well that went. He didn't use Bind or anything. Wow. Um... But yeah, uh... Yeah, Flash is one of those HM moves. It's, it's a pretty crummy move, actually. But... As in terms of attack. However, you will... It's not awesome. It's actually not necessary to be the game. It's just probably the most highly recommended thing of all time, uh, and you will see why uh, when we progress onwards. Uh, I'm gonna end the part off here, I guess. I'll see you guys next part where we'll proceed on to Route Three and we'll head towards Mount Moon, where we hear something's going on with this person called uh, Team Rocket. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we'll see you kids later. for watching this video make sure you keep watching the rest please go hit the subscribe button if you like my videos or maybe you can just uh, follow oh dang it I messed it